Hello lovelies. We are off to lesson one four for grade seven in two math. Today's I can statement is I can decide whether a relationship shown in a graph is proportional and explain the connection between the constant of proportionality and the point one R on a graph. So here we're recognizing whether something is proportional or not within a graph. Our first word problem says, Jasmine sells sports drinks at a baseball game. The relationship between the number of servings of sports drinks and the cups of water used is shown. Use a graph to tell whether a proportional relationship exists and then write an equation for the relationship. So a lot going on in that. So let's highlight what, uh, what we have here. So we have the relationship. So it doesn't say whether it's proportional or not. Um, but there is a relationship to our servings versus the uh, cups of water. And then we need to make a graph to tell whether it is proportional. And then we got to write an equation. So this first example always gives us, that's what this uh, like dark gray part is here. It guides us through our first problem. So on our graph, we have our points. Let's see, graphing our x comma y, so our axis here is x, so that is our horizontal axis, and then our vertical axis is here in the green. So if, when we are plotting our points, we move our x-axis first, so I'm going to go over 3, so start at my origin, go over 3, and then up two. So here's my first point. Check. And then I'm gonna go six comma four. So now I'm going all the way over to six and then up to four. There's my next point. Check. And then we have nine. So moving over to my nine and then connecting that with my six here. There's my next point. And then 12, and then up to eight, and then 15, comma, 10. So these lines underneath, um, we can actually delete. You can leave them there if they, don't want, if they uh, aren't in your way but they are not part of our line. Our line here starts at the origin because if there are no servings, then they're not gonna use any water. So that's our origin, we're starting there. And then our line will connect these. And it will keep going. The more servings we have, the more water they're gonna need. So there's our first part, we made our graph for each pair, down here at A, pair in the table, plot a point on the graph, draw and extend a line to the Y axis. So we started here at two, or I'm sorry, three comma two. If we extended that, that's what they're talking about here, it would go through that origin. So for something to be proportional, it has two little checks that it needs. It needs to be a straight line, and it needs to go through the origin. So here, this is proportional because it goes through the origin. That's what we have right here. And it is a straight line. It increases at a steady rate and will continue to increase at a steady rate. So yes, it is proportional. It meets both of these check marks. And then our K, which is our rate of change, our constant of proportionality, um, that is found with this formula here. So highlight that, put a box around it, Whatever you need to do to keep that um, 
nice and important there, k equals y over x. So that's our general formula. And we're going to plug in, um, they did this first point here, y, so 2 is on the top, and then x is our um, denominator. So 2 thirds is our constant of proportionality. Uh, and you might ask, well, what if I did my other points? What if I did 12 comma 8 or 6 comma 4? If you were to simplify those, even if we did our largest, our largest point here, we did 10, which is our y, over our x, which is 15. If I simplify that, it would continue to go down 5 goes into 10, 5 goes into 15, and we would actually get that same k value. We would get 2 thirds. So it does not matter which point from this graph that you use. Um, if you simplify properly, you should end up with the same k value. Now to use k to write an equation for the relationship, what we are going to do here is a little substitution. We're going to substitute in what we found into our k. So we would have y equals kx. We have our little eraser here. We're going to substitute, substitute in for our k what we found to be our value for k, our rate of change, our constant of proportionality. And this is our final answer. We're not simplifying. We're not solving. It wants an equation, which means it needs an equal sign. And until we um, have something to solve for, like wanting a certain point, that's all we need to do. We'll leave it at y equals 2 thirds x. Now here I'm going to give you a minute. We're going to start by graphing the data from the table. And then we need to figure out whether it is proportional or not. And again, we have our little check marks over here. I'll give you a minute to graph that. We have our x and our y axes. You first want to start at our origin move over one and then up to two. So we're gonna connect those. And there's our first dot. Same thing, go over two, up four. Over two, up four. Over three, up six. Do that on your paper and look back over to your screen when you think you have them all done. And take a peek at what I got here. I have your, your points from the table. So does this constitute a proportional relationship? Is it a straight line? Does this increase at a nice steady rate? And does it go through the origin? It must have both pieces. You can have a straight line that maybe goes through here, but it won't be considered proportional unless it is a straight line and it goes through the origin. So this is yes, it is proportional. The graph is a straight line that goes through the origin. Through the origin. All right, and then the constant of proportionality. Again, that is our k equals y over x. And you can use any point 
any one of these points would work. Um, I'm gonna pick, let's see, I'm gonna do this point here. So my y value is eight, that's gonna go in my numerator. My x value is four. I can simplify that, four goes into both of these numbers. Four goes into eight twice, four goes into itself once. So k is two. Ah, k is two. Our constant of proportionality, our rate of change is two. Now writing an equation, we're gonna start with our y equals kx. And again, we can take our magic eraser here, get rid of our k, and then we're gonna substitute in what we found. So our equation, our final answer for this C part here is y equals 2x.